And welcome back to the Steve Malzberg Show. Joining us now is our friend Ben F. Shea Zand, Iranian-born writer, film producer, and human rights activist. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Always good to talk to you. Thank you. Um, I, I wanted you to talk a little bit about what's going on uh, in Iran as they, uh, well, they're not even putting a, a phony face out. I mean, they've uh, since uh, they've signed that agreement, they've uh, you know threatened Israel. They've uh, called them pigs and monkeys and uh, the business as usual, really, uh, saying that they're going to continue to enrich uranium. The centrifuges will never stop. So I, I, my whole premise here that uh, they're, they're putting on a face while they're nefariously plotting to go ahead with their program. They're telling us they're going to go ahead with their program, correct? Well, I mean, look, the thing is, is that they have always said that. It's not news. If the Obama administration and Mr. Kerry want to sandbag that uh, that reality. Well, you know, there's nothing that we can do that, to stop them, obviously. But the bottom line is, as I've, as I've said before, uh, betters than Obama have tried and have tried for 35 years, uh, starting with Carter himself and Reagan, who... Uh, sent Khomeini a, a cake and a, and a Quran, and they put the Quran aside and fed the cake to the dog. Um, Bush 41 a little bit, Bush 40, uh, then Clinton uh, a lot with Warren Christopher, who ended up basically, you know, giving these guys or putting the moniker of the evil empire on them. And Madeleine Albright uh, then did all kinds of, uh, you know, loosening of various sanctions, opening pistachio, caviar, right, carpet, right, and so on and right. so forth. Bush 40, 43 then tried with the insistence of the Euro Troika, uh, which was at that point Jack Straw, uh, Dominique de Villepin, and Yoshko Fisher, and that didn't come out come out at all well. And at that time, uh, the guy who's president now, Hassan Rouhani, was the actual nuclear negotiator. Uh, under the Khatami presidency. And he, in fact, and I outed this, this information on, uh, in April of 2006, where he was sitting in one of the assemblies of the clerics and was showing off about how he had the Euro Troika coming and going and that, you know, that the whole idea um, had been to basically play Europe against the United States and make a fool out of Bush. But you know, you know what? Uh, I, I, but I think the difference is, to, uh, not to interrupt you, but to mm -hmm. interrupt you, is that this president is willing to accept oh so much less that it doesn't matter to him uh, what they say, what they do, what they offer, what they uh, intend to keep, what they intend to do. He just wants a, a, a piece of signed paper, I believe. Yeah, but look, let's the, the, here's here's on on my side of the story. I think the thing that I'm really hoping for is that the midterm elections will turn it around in a way so that we could uh, keep Mr. Obama busy on on various other domestic issues that he needs to be concerned about. Where can, maintaining his presidency is concerned, I'm not going to use the I word. Uh, but <laughs> I knew you were talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I knew but you were the, talking about that. But the thing is, is that, you know, he's just kicking the can down the road, and um, he's he, they will make a fool out of him whether he wants to believe it or not. And um, the worst part about it is that uh, it's unfortunate that the CIA uh, is so adamant in being, uh, in, in, in applying and juxtaposing uh, non sequitur theories and, um, and solutions to the symptoms they never even they're they're not even able to uh, to resolve the symptoms let alone the cause and the cause is really where you got to go i mean so if you're going to talk about nukes then you really have to say, talk about what's behind the nukes which is human rights violations yeah yeah, well, let me get to that. I, I want to talk about something that you uh, sent uh, in an email uh, yesterday. And uh, to explain to me, we only have a couple of minutes left, but explain mm -hmm. to me why uh, the Iranian regime takes to Facebook and, and threatens the life of a Brazilian model um, who, uh, who does a, a, a commercial for, uh, for a, a, a soccer federation, FIFA's lottery. I don't get that. Well, I mean, they do that as a matter of course to all beautiful women who are, you know, who aren't a who don't cover themselves up and wrap themselves up like mummies. Um, and but yet, it's not only directed to her. As you recall, um, in my email, I also mentioned the fact that, for example, after the five plus one Geneva meeting. Uh, the regime got their thugs uh, uh, lined up to make the exact same series of threats and attacks to the Facebook page of Laurent Fabius, the French Foreign Minister. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's, you know, it's just a, a perfect example of their thuggery. And it's, it's, when it comes to women especially, it's worse. Yeah, no, I, I, absolutely, without a doubt. Look, um, well, well, next time we'll do it, we'll do it a little bit longer because uh, it's such an important topic and you're such a, a, a wonderful source of information and a unique perspective. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Delighted. Thank All you right, so thank much. you very much. Bye. My pleasure. That's Benef Shea Zand, a Iranian born writer, film producer, human rights activist, here on the Steve Malzberg Show. Uh, what am I saying here? Obamacare could force thousands of volunteer fire departments to close. Thank you, Dr. Obama. It just gets better. It, no, you know, I, I, let, me, let me see if I have time here to click on the story. Uh, probably, well, I did click on it. I didn't, I didn't tell you I needed to open it. Yeah, all right. This is from the uh, London Daily Mail. Affordable air, uh, uh, care act companies with more than 50 workers have to buy all insurance, uh, have to buy them insurance. The IRS says volunteer firefighters are employees, even though the Department of Labor says they're volunteers. So who's going to put out the fires, for instance, in my town where they're all volunteers? Thank you, Dr. Obama. That's, that's more great news. Oh, yeah, and the hits just keep on coming. When we come back, Congressman Mo Brooks from Alabama, Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio.